Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Duralast QS. Build your mech to last with Duralast. Alright, well, after the last episode, we did make that jump. So let's have a look at the navigation here. We are at... Dun dun dun... Kogel. Kogel? Kogel? Kogel, I guess it would be? Whatever. English is my first language, so you, you have to excuse me. Alright, so, um... Yeah, we're going to take on a mission today with the primary lance. Now, we've got a few missions here we could have taken. Actually, we could probably take them both. I think we got the pilots for it. Did I hire anybody from here? Uh, it's been a week since I recorded, so i got to double check here. Uh, barracks. Um, Ironsides, uh, yep. lifeboat. Did we pick up lifeboat? Ready for orders. I think we picked up lifeboat. Wow, you'd think I'd go back and look at one of the last episodes, but uh, but apparently not. So we do have a couple of extra pods. Yeah, see, he hasn't got any, got any uh, stuff on him yet. Uh, Mech Tech X Comstar. And who else did I pick up? I thought I picked up a vehicle pilot here. Ironsides. I think it was him. Was it? Wait. Yeah, because he doesn't have any affilities either. That's right. X Military Merchant Spacer. That's going to help us out. Skipper. All right, cool. So we got guys. Uh, now let's put them to use because I want to go ahead and go to the command center. I know what we're doing today. We have a few missions. I think I'm going to take this one and I'm going to take this one. Now this one's going to be for our primary lance. Um, tracking an extremely heavy mech with local government heraldry. So it's one and a half skulls, local government. We should be fine, I think. Desert terrain. We might be able to get some overheats on people. So we're going to go this route and take this one today so let's negotiate this up and we need C bills so 312 I think is where we're gonna go with this one 315 is pretty good but I think I would rather take the extra couple of hundred thousand C bills this way we should make our financial report with this mission and get a little more with the next mission so I mean anyway let's just accept this and I'll talk when I get into the mission for the first little bit now um, Let's flush out this lance. And then we'll go with the secondary lance. Monsieur Jenkins. Uh, I think Big Tax was second, right? Uh, you're in the commando. You're in the commando? Really? Wait, what? Uh, Lifeboat's got nothing, right? So metal is piloting the commando. And you didn't have any affinities, so let's put you... I guess they put you there. And we had... Uh, who else do we have? Come on, people. Speak up. you got to help me out here. Ripley. Talon to Mr. Ripley. Was in the Scorpion. Right. So we're going to put the Talon of Mr. Ripley into the... So I don't forget. Not into the fire truck. We're going to put you in the Scatty. Or skatey, whatever. Skate eye, skate the skate, whatever. In this one. And hopefully get some use out of this today. Hopefully it doesn't get shot down. It's speedy. He's got a little bit more speed. That's good stuff. Lifeboat is what? You haven't got it right. Because we needed more pilots. Boomer with nothing. Big tax. Wait. Uh, who was piloting the Valkyrie? Was it you? Yeah, it was you. Scooter. It's been a week. Come on, cut me some slack. Uh, what else we got? So I know Vision, Venom, Vengeance, Road Rash, all in the main lance. Lifeboat was the new hire. Junker was in the fire truck. Correctement. Let's bring uh, the mechs down. So I don't forget here. So Panther, Valkyrie, and then we had, I think it was four first and then three, right? Yeah, Medium X Pulse Street, because we had to rebuild this one. No, it was the Valkyrie we, we rebuilt, right? Yes, the Chem Laser Medium X Pulse, right. So Commander th 3 is down here, and you have. Did you have. I thought you, I thought you were all the, the full SRM loadout, right? Yeah. So who do we have running you? Was it Big Tex? Yeah, it was Big Texas. That's what I thought. Yeah, because we have. Um, 
Not cautious. We have Bandit here for the uh, clustering. Right. Yeah, I'm getting it now. All right, let's go. Command interface initiated. Okay, this could either go well or it could go horribly bad. Let's hope it goes well. Time to get paid. All right, so as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by myself, um, I've been thinking that what I'll probably end up doing is I'll make uh, most of the um, episodes are going to be with this primary lance, and I'm going to use my secondary lance um, probably to farm sea bills. Um, like in between like primary episodes, I'll use them to farm the lower skull sea bill missions to generate some sea bills so we can kind of get things moving a little bit more. I'm having difficulty, as you can tell, finding like higher level quick sell stuff. So we're going to try and move. Like I had a look online at sarna.net. I think we're going to set up up here. Ooh, that kind of puts me in the open a fair bit, doesn't it? Uh, his reinforcements, I think, are back here. This is a bit more of an ambush position, I think, up here. So let's go up here. So yeah, so my thought is, you know, with more sea bills that allow us to do more jumping around, look for stores to buy better stuff, right? Um, hopefully we can find some more quick sell gear that we can use. And then um, I'll also uh, run the secondary lance, you know, when I find good missions on planets. Ooh, Chikeda. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Um, so I, I can run the secondary lance, um, and I won't feel restricted as to what we do there. So I'm going to get the avatar up and running. We'll get lots of sea bills from the primary lance doing like the lower level, like one and a half skull missions, junk missions that I don't want to take with these guys or I don't have time to. So if these guys are in repair, my primary lance will just knock those out for some sea bills. Hopefully find some quick sell stuff that we can add to this lance. But, um, yeah, it's tough. It's anyway, let's just start playing. Um, and we can talk as I'm going, but it's tough trying to do a playthrough where you try and stick to something specific because there's so much. Ooh, a quick sell four panther. That's really nice. Until he shoots at you. Uh, ooh, we can't. Can we get a shot? How badly do I want to go after these guys? So we got Rotunda, Mortar Technical. Chikata 2A, which is, I think, the medium laser version. Quick Cell 4. I can't remember what the 4 has. Do we have... Wait, what what version do we have? 2. Standing by. This is the Valkyrie. I know the commandos are a little faster. Panther's here. You know what? Let's let them come to us. Move into here. We're going to let them move in and we'll, we'll just shred them one at a time if we can. Mortar's going to cause a little bit of havoc, but Phoenix Hawk 3S. Okay, so not too bad. So anyways, I was, as I was saying, if you're trying to do a playthrough where you try and stay true to one type of thing, like for instance, the quick sell um, is kind of difficult if you don't encounter quick sell mechs. You kind of have to go to where they're being used. Uh, right now, the Circinus Federation seems like... Not Sir Kinnis, uh, is it? Wherever the hell we're, we are right now. Oh, Marion Hegemony, thank you. Thank you forever. Wh whoever was that yelled that from the back row? Um, they seem to have some, which is good, so we'll probably stick around here for a bit. I also looked up online where the uh, primary factors, factories yep. are, factors. Where the primary factories are, and it seems that the uh, quick cell factories are spread out Fairly well, mostly in the center inner sphere, but they spread between the the uh, house Merrick. Um, there was like one in Rasselhag. There's a few in the core. There's one in. Um, fuck. That's the Panther, right? Yeah. There's one in um, where old Rasselhag used to be. So it's probably in Ghost, not Ghost Bear, um, Wolf territory, I think. There's one in, um, there's a factory in, um, the Laren Commonwealth. There's one in the Federated Commonwealth. There's a bunch of them spread out. One in the Draconis Combine, I think. So they're all over. Waiting for orders. Um, so we really have to be, um, let's go here. Moving to 
We really got to be moving around a lot to hit up planets where the factories are. And I don't know if they're going to have good stuff in the actual stores for those either. Ah, uh, let's just open up on them. Nice. Good hits. Orders. All right, big techs. Yep, let's give this guy a certain type of barbecue. I could try and shred him, but like I said, I want parts from these guys, so... See what we can get. I'm gonna put that on as well. Let's just hammer him. Nice. I'll uh, shut him up for a bit. I'm out of short range missiles. That's alright. So it's tricky to do that. Now, uh, I do want to um, correct myself when I was talking about lamb mechs. So I did start a lamb playthrough because I was interested to see what that would do. Like, how that's going to work. Now, I ended up with two Phoenix Hawks and three Wasp Lambs. Two Phoenix Hawks were the same. Two of the Wasp Lambs were the same. Um, let's go... Just change these first. This is going to be interesting because these are quick cell launchers, so... See how this goes. Scotty's got gun armor, so I'm not that worried about it. But we're gonna see if we can get some lambs in, or a, sorry, fast game in down here. I mean, we could go on this side, but we're gonna be fighting up there. We're not gonna. I don't think we're gonna be going down after this guy. He's gonna come up after us. So let's uh, get some legs in here if we can get it. All right, that's a spread. <laughs> Okay, sure. We'll take it, I guess. Um, but so the lamb playthrough, if, if we do a lamb playthrough, and I'm, I'm seriously considering doing it because it is, as much as I was thinking that lambs wouldn't be that fun, basically it is not what I thought it was. It wasn't just that, you know, you, you hover up and you fly around and you're not moving that fast. A lot of it is the, the because you get the lamb turbines and you get jump boosters, you can actually jump a fair distance. Now you you run hot. You got to get double heat sink kits in there fast. You run hot, but you can do it. I've already played one mission. It was kind of fun, so I'm thinking about doing it. But the problem with that kind of playthrough is you try to stay true to lambs. You. Like I started off with five lamb mechs, and if you try to stay true to lamb mechs, it's going to be very, very difficult to stay that way because if you don't encounter lambs in your playthrough, then what do you do? Like you're just not going to, you know what I mean? You're not going to get anything, any value out of it. Because you're not going to be getting mechs, you know, that you can upgrade to. So it makes things kind of difficult. Let's get you down here. I want to overheat that panther and burn him up. Hopefully he uh, ejects. I can't remember if the panther's got the small cockpit, but if he does, and we can get him overheating, we can wound up We can wound up the pilot. Let's go with that. Confirmed. Firing. Get some stress on this guy if we can. Wow, all the rockets missed. I'm out of SRM. What do you need? But yeah, like, like I was saying, it's really difficult to do that kind of playthrough because if you don't get lamb mech parts, how do you advance your, your mechs, right? You're just playing with the same mechs all the time and hoping they don't get destroyed. Uh, I wanted shift, not caps lock. Let's burn this guy. Copy that. Right? So it makes it really, really difficult to, to do that kind of playthrough. So you'd have to build like a second like a second lance really quickly that was like ground pounders to make up for the inability to, like that you're you don't have very many lambs, right? So that I've got a second lance that I can record. Now, I could do it interspersed with this playthrough. Firing. And you know, only show the episodes where we get extra lambs or it's interesting. I don't know, it's it's tough, but the one benefit of doing a lamb start is, especially at this at this date, you start on the um, the home world for Nova. Well, not really a home world, but it's a it's a Nova planet inside Corridan space. I'll show you after we, if I remember after this mission. Standing by. And you can pick up clan gear. So if you start with like maximum, uh, let's go to here. And inflict some major pain on this on guy. 
So if you start off with like maximum C bills, right, then you can go ahead and pick up a lot of clan gear to start. Now let's see how you handle this. To like, you know, max out your lands, make it really tough so that when you're playing, Ooh, you know, um, you don't have to worry too, too much about your lance getting Stand wiped side. out early. Uh, we know what you want. We know what we want you to do. But I don't want to shoot from this side. Can we get... Oh, uh, we can't. I want to be closer than that, I think. That's probably good right there. Alright, we'll just go after that guy. We'll probably take his arm, but let's just... Let's just get inflict some heat damage here. Alright, firing. Copy that. Nice. Shut down. He got a wound. Looked like he got... Looks like he got hurt. Yeah, two of four consciousness. Yeah. So every time he overheats, he's gonna... We can knock... So technically we can knock the pilot out and keep the entire mech. So we're gonna do that. Standing by. But I would say probably... Um, not knowing. The lamb playthrough is probably even harder than playing the quick sell playthrough, right? Because, I mean, think about all the quick sell mechs we've encountered here. And the limited number of lamb mechs we've encountered, right? We haven't encountered very many lambs at all. Uh, let's go with dead fire on this guy. Acknowledge. So, you know, it's going to be... If I do the lamb playthrough, it's going to be kind of tricky. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. I mean, it's interesting. I'll probably keep playing along with that playthrough just offline just to see what I think of it. Because um, like I said, I've only played one mission. It was a half skull mission. Oh, that was uh, painful. It was a, it was a half skull mission, so, I mean, it wasn't, um, it was, I don't want to say it was tough, but it, with the limited amount of weapons I have, like, I mean, the wasp lamps, like medium laser, and one of them had a medium laser and an LRM-10. Actually, two of them were like that. One of them was uh, a medium laser and SRM-2, and the Phoenix Hawks, uh, all right, where was I? Sorry, um, I got I had to get pulled away from I got pulled away by a phone call. Um so what was I saying? Something about I can't remember now. Waiting for orders. How am I supposed to remember things? It was only a few minutes ago. Um what do we want to do with you? You seem to be alright. We're gonna take this shot. Locking in coordinates. I'm gonna try and kill him from this side, I think. So let's open up on them. Let's get the incendiary rockets down as well. Actually, I'm going to hang on to those. In well, we don't, we're not going to need them for the uh, Panther. Firing all weapons. Get him on this guy. Oh, yeah. You will suffer Solid me. On that one. I'm out of short range missiles. I was talking about the quick cell. No. Not the quick cell. The, um... That panther shut down, so we don't have to worry about him this turn. We can heat him up next turn. We do have a good backstrike on the on the Chikata. We don't actually, but if we shift this to Artemis, it's not bad. Let's see if we can take. Well, he's only got a medium laser though. Well, let's try and kill him. Let's just get him out of here. I had a little bit of damage. Not bad. I await your command. It's me. -y. Don't like that position. Phoenix Hawk can see me. Let's just pull back a little bit to here. And we'll hammer that Chikeda again. He's unstable now, so much like me. Let's just hammer this guy. Firing all weapons. Nice. Got past the armor. Reporting critical hit. Alright, uh scooter. Standing by. We'll take that shot. Position confirmed. Excellent. And here it comes. Now. On it. Ooh, nice shot. There goes the leg. So yeah, the uh, the land playthrough would be kind of interesting. Like I said, you can you can get some good jumps in. Yeah. Um. So that guy's done. These vehicles aren't really doing it. I don't think they can actually get up this hill. That's probably why they're going that way. 
Or they could be going that way for other reasons. I don't know. Maybe they got family over there or something. Take a shot at this guy. Oof. Yeah, I see ya. Well, maybe not. Good damage, though. Well, I'll see ya. Never mind. But yeah, the land playthrough, it's, it's tricky because, like I said, because if, if you lose rotors and things like that, it's going to be hard to find them again, right? Unless you can get them. We'd have to figure out, and maybe somebody will let me know in the comments, are there planets that you that are specifically like lamb factories where you could actually just get parts? Because if we could get parts, then I would go definitely go for that playthrough, you know, and then... Um, Whoops. Mech destroyed. Yeah, you're supposed to take his leg, though. Ah, he's still figuring that thing out. Um, so yeah, but if we could go somewhere and get lamb parts, that would be great. Because then I would just jump there probably to start. Well, I would... Here's the thing. It's... I would take... And it's a shame that... Right. Get hard now. With the newer versions, they've had a couple... They've added a couple of new start. Um, to go. Okay, this guy is... Still not restarted yet. They've added a couple of new start locations. Let's just go here. Copy that. And let's make sure we keep this guy toasty. Maybe turn you off. Uh, let's not go with those though. Forty-one. Lots of armor. Rear armor. Is. Okay. Let's keep the barbecue going. But I want to shoot him from... Ooh. Uh, let's go here. Then we're going to turn off the flamers because they do a lot of damage because this guy's overheating. We'll leave the fluid guns on. Turn the machine guns off. Just give him a little bit of a... Let's give him a touch on this side. That should keep him there for a few turns. Receiving you. All right, Metal. Arcelor Metal, let's get up here. These vehicles. Get tired of these fucking mortars. I live to serve. But yeah, I wanna like for for those like I wanna to apologize to whoever is like a, a lamb fan because I, I did just, I did say before there's kinda of no use for them. But I, I I'm gonna take that back. Until I've actually had a playthrough um, with them. I, my my only experience is, is the AI playing with them and I don't think that's fair to make an assessment based off the AI's play because I mean as we all know the AI makes weird decisions sometimes and I just don't think it's capable of figuring out lambs you know I just don't think it has the um, capacity to figure out what a lamb should be doing you know um, whereas a human player would obviously do it in a much different fashion right just going with fire down there because I want the uh, vehicles to drive through fire and take some damage. Ready for orders. The only reason why I'm doing it. All right, get the scooter up here. Aye, aye. So until I actually get through the playthrough, or at least you know, at least a few more offline missions and stuff, got to figure out where the land factories are. Like I said, because once you start losing, okay, this might be the episode of interruption. So I had another phone call. Uh, where was I? We were trying to kill these vehicles, right? I was talking about lambs and stuff. I don't even know anymore. Uh, that guy's burning, so we don't have to worry about him. Let's get into here, though. I can try and get as much of a direct shot in these vehicles as I can. I might just leave the fire truck there to deal with these guys. Uh, I think it actually, it's actually faster than the commando, I think, though. Receiving you. How fast are you? Oh, you can get a shot off. We got the time. We got the tools. We got the talent. But yeah, like, I mean, I think I was saying that if you lose, like, your lamb turbines and things like that, it, it becomes a serious issue because, like, how do you replace them if, you, if, you, if you're not facing, um, if you're not facing Fire lamb mechs and you can't get a factory, how do you replace all that shit, right? Tango, down. You can't, and then it's like, then you're down to a mech with yep, jump jets, and I don't think it'll go as far, and then it's just really... You're like, well, what's the point then, right? I, might, I, I mean, I could have a light lance with a really large jump. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. 
Uh, I want to try and keep the, I'm like, here. even the vehicles, just keep them all flyers, you know? So even the vehicles will be, like, copters or stuff that I don't normally use. I want to try and keep them as, like, you know, as, uh, um, kind of true to the playthrough like I've been doing with this one as possible. Here it comes. Wow. <laughs> Make sure the camera's clicked off for that one. Uh, let's move you. No flames? No flames. Perfect. I don't even want this guy to bail out, so that's the problem, right? Let's just keep him hot. Good to go. Alright, Mr. Mr. Ripley. Get over here, get a back shot in this guy. Let's go. I think we still have some uh, dead fire left. Now that the sound of these copters is a lot less, it's uh, way more, way more, e like, way better to play with them. Like, it's less just frustration, you know? Oh, yeah, nice shot. Caution. Oh, yep, yeah, he overheated and died. Perfect. So that, that should net me the quick sell commando, plus it gives me my financial report. That was too easy of a mission, though, for one and a half skulls, but it was planetary government, so... Hopefully the next mission's a lot tougher. I mean, the past week has been pretty easy. Let's grab all four, or all three parts of this. Even though there's some really good stuff here, like the laser rifle's kind of really nice. It's basically a large handheld chem laser. I think that's in this, though. I'm pretty sure this thing has it. Limpet mines. That could have been bad. Firebombs. The fact that we overheated him before he got close. Rex laser QS. I think that was probably in him as well. Exchanger. Fire control system critical. That's kind of not bad. Double heat sink kit. Alright, well let's... Sensors with searchlight. That's actually... This is a quick sell item too. And it's actually, you know, not bad. Two sensor detection with 150 meters. Which isn't bad. Fog of war stays revealed. Because of the spotlight. Bonus of one to sensor detection. Additional target information. It's actually, you know, there's no real downside of that. The upper recoil. These are actually pretty good too. Quick sell items. They're a little heavier, I think, and they use up more space, but they're actually pretty good. So, um, let's, uh, let's just see what we get here. Chicada part. Phoenix Hawk part. A couple of rotunda parts. This is too bad. Large pulse laser. Okay, not bad. Mortar twos. Now, I think we've got a bunch. We have one of these. I'm going to stay away, I think, from mortars in this playthrough. Basic cockpit. I mean, we might get into something later on, but I'm not really worried about it. Engine heat sink removal. So, I'm up in the air about these. I'm going to hold on. We have one. I'm going to hold on to this one as well. It takes three heat sinks out of the engine and gives you the weight, but it just means that you have to add three more heat sinks to your torsos and stuff, right? If you're using regular heat sinks, it's not so bad because you've only lost three slots. If you're using double heat, heat sinks, you just lot, not, lost nine slots. So it could be good, it could be bad, but you gain weight so you can add more weapons as long as they're not taking up a lot of slots, right? And we got the uh, the quick sell TSM, which isn't bad either. So let's hold on to that. All right, continue. All right, ten grand in repairs. That's not too bad. I think the Panther did most of the damage. Although the Phoenix Hawk did some good damage to our commando, so. Alright, uh, let's have our tasks. Man, oh, we're good. We aight. Um, okay, so. Engineering, where are we at? What we're doing fairly well here. We want to get this sooner or later. That should pretty come pretty quickly, though. That's only 2 million, right? It's uh, 1 million. So we should get that pretty quickly, I think. The third mech bay up and running. Although this is what? 300,000. 15 days. That might be a little better to get our pilots up faster. 80 XP a day is... Wait, is that 80 a day or is that... It is. That's actually pretty good, especially for our low-level pilots. Like in 10 days, they get 800 XP. So, that's pretty good. Um, so, we'll worry about that a little later. We got one more mission to do. We're going to do that in the next episode. I'm sorry this one's so short. Let me know how you guys feel about these short episodes. I think if this was not, like if it wasn't the end of the month and I wasn't working on getting C-bills and I didn't want to take this 
uh, two skull base defense mission. I would probably go ahead and because um, this one's against the uh, the Marion, so I'm hoping to get some uh, quick sell mechs in this one. Um, if it wasn't the end of the month, I would advance the timeline a couple of days, get our stuff back, and go again. But it is, and I want to take that mission, so I'm going to end this one here. Actually, let's um, go to the mech bay real quick, though. So I want to assemble that um, panther just to see, because I'm interested in what's left in it. Because we can swap out a commando now. 35 tonner is pretty good here. That was that was a pretty good grab. It's weird that we we spent you know the past week or so in a different uh, space and not really encountered any quick sell max and we come back to the uh, um, Marion Hegemony and immediately get ourselves a full Panther. So that's nice. That bodes well for... Ah, oh, fuck. Well, that's not surprising. I mean, it is... It is what it is. Look at the exchanger. Yeah, the laser rifle's gone, unfortunately. So the hybrid TSM is what was able, enabling that thing to carry that, that laser... So we're going to... Do I want to repair this right now? We're going to wait till the end of, after the month is over. Just to make sure. And then we're going to try and load this guy up with some more quick sell gear and get him into battle. Now, I don't know... We're going to remove... I'll probably keep the SRM commando because the overheating is really nice. And we'll take the other commando out with the SRM-6. And the... I think it's got the X-Pulse. What's, it, what's its boarding? Real quick here. We'll have a quick look. Uh, not you. Can we see the four? Probably not here now. Wait, that's the one with the Artemis. Yeah, I think I put the I think I put the Artemis two in here to give the streaks a plus one to hit. The streak six. And this is the one with the uh, yeah this is the one with the other with the SRMs. So yeah, we got this for the main lance. We've got. I mean, I don't know if I'll do this one. We might do a melee mech. We'll see. Well, once we got the third mech bay, we can start just putting these guys down here and putting them together. And if I, like I said, if I use the second lance kind of intermittently to farm lower level missions, we should be able to generate a fair number of sea bills and get better mechs into play uh, for the second lance. And hopefully we can get some stuff for the primary lance in quick sell. But we'll see how that goes. I don't know if the, how that's going to happen, but I don't know. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. St I'm sticking with the playthrough. I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna shift it. We're gonna see what we can get. Quick sell. So I'm gonna end this episode here. Sorry it was so short. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please drop a like. Uh, also, too, let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like to see me do a land playthrough. Uh, if I do that one, I'm gonna play it like I would play it offline. Meaning, whatever I deem as being fair game, I'm gonna. I'm gonna game it as much as I can to get it. I'm gonna. I don't want to say warp the rules, but I'm gonna basically push the rules uh, within the game as as far as I possibly can not necessarily to cheat the game but to push it just so that we can maintain that land playthrough um, which includes starting with maximum you know maximum C bills starting things like that I might I'll probably take the AWAX playthrough um, so hopefully we can get an AWAX chopper in there um, and I'll just jump back and forth at the beginning between a couple of clan planets try to pick up some clan gear drop it in them to give them a better ch survival chance early game, hopefully get some double heat sink kits early game. I mean, we won't be able to buy them because they'll be expensive as hell, but, you know, the, the, the uh, I know for a fact that the um, the heat sinks, the double heat sinks will show up in the clan stores. So buying clan double heat sinks, we c they're cheap as shit, so we'll buy a bunch of those and then hope we can get a clan double heat sink kit. We can use that. Like, I'll, I'll try and game it as best I can to stick with the land playthrough to make them as survivable as possible because I tell you the the armor is like on, on the wasp lamb is like half of what it could possibly be so if you get hit with a half decent shot you know you're going down you're losing a bunch of stuff and it's painful with only having a couple of hard points too like you got one laser and one missile hard point you really got to max out what you're using much like the quick sell max we, we've only got three hard points right plus a support hard point, so you really got to maximize what you got in your mech. You just, just, that's it, right? So hopefully it'll end up being interesting. But uh, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and go check out that quick sell site. It's just aching for you to go buy stuff. They just want you there. Until next time, we'll see you later.